He came in as the favorite. He handled the pressure, and now he is NASCAR's champion, getting his first title in his 12th season, the 32nd driver to celebrate on NASCAR's big stage. And how about this? He joins Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch, Brad Keselowski, the three drivers at Miami with him, and Bobby Labonte is the only ones to win at the Xfinity and the Cup level. A very, very special evening for Martin Truex Jr. That was so cool. Thanks to Jamie for doing that. That was that, that was really, really was. cool. I mean, I had goosebumps watching it because we've already talked about how this is, a, you know, he's a good guy. Everything that he's gone through, just the journey to get to this point, I think everyone was kind of rooting for him. Uh, if I say to you guys that Martin Truex Jr. is the favorite to win next year's championship, you say what? I say I think they're going to be stronger next year. Uh, so absolutely the favorite to win the championship. You know, you look at that team. Strong, stronger than this year? Stronger eight, than eight this year. Wins, stronger than this year. I think that team will be stronger than this year. When you look at how it's lining up, they're going to go out there. They're going to cut back to one car. When they cut back to one car, they can focus on that one car solely. I think they're going to be even stronger. Okay, so yeah. what are you predicting? How many wins next year? Uh, Double digits? Ten. Yeah. Let's go 10. I, I, it, it does seem possible. I, I think it's I'm telling possible. you, that's big. There's a lot of mad guys out there right now. Hey, we're, we're talking about more. a strong season overall, but I, I've always thought best playoff run ever, 2011, Tony Stewart, when he put that team on his back and, and won five races and picked up his third championship. Can we argue now that this is the best playoff run in the history of the sport, given the fact not only won four races, but you take away Talladega, their average finish was two points. Point two, Andy. Yeah, we can argue it all you want, but I, I mean, I, this was this was a great one, right? I, I mean, it really was, and it worked out. Everybody feels good about this one. It was it was really it worked out the way it should have. But the the run that Tony Stewart had in 2011, I don't know that I've ever seen anything quite like that. I mean, you know, he just took, took, put a team on his back, and said, "Okay, guys, come on," because the, they weren't anywhere. They weren't like Martin Truex that year. They were not that good until it came time for the playoffs, and then they. They did what they and did. The, and the points were different, too, back then. It was I think different. That's, that's yes. the one thing yeah. I look at with that one is yeah. he had to win those five races to even be remotely close, and he, he won it by one point when it was all said and done, or actually a tie, technically. So um, I, I think but this up one, there. Hey, Martin's run this year was great. Don't take anything away from that. Two Xfinity championships, now a, a Monster Energy Series title. He's won some crown jewels. Is he going to the Hall of Fame? Hall of Fame. lock yes. it up for him? Yes. First you, ballot, you, you don't win a cup championship and not be Hall of Fame eligible, in my mind. Hall of Fame. What are we? Well, this is cool. Okay. Championship <laughs> and the Hall of Fame. This is a good day after yeah. Championship <laughs> Sunday. That's what you want to see, the excitement that we saw this year. weekend. <laughs>